Hi, this is Scott. This is a supplementary video to go along with ZMAX 10. I'm calling this ZMAX 10A. And I'm showing that I'm, I'm doing this video to show how to effectively play the, the video game called Lens Design. ZMAX is powerful if you know how to use it. That last video, the, the main video, really, I, I purposely framed it the way I did to show how one can get lost. I'm going to show in this video how to do it. And I do that with some trepidation because if you don't know how to do this, if you don't know how to balance variables and constraints, you can end up chasing your tail quite a bit in ZMAX. And you'll end up spending more time to your solution and get an inferior solution than if you just started with your brain, some physics, some equations, and Excel or whatever, a piece of paper, and gotten a good solution. So let's go ahead and let's try this. Let's get rid of this column. I think we were NDK7 and NSF10. We're going to make two variables, front and back. And I'm not going to make the BFL a variable. I'm going to just give it a marginal ray solve. If you didn't catch that, marginal ray, height of 0, pupil zone of 0, that's just the default. We're going to give it a focal length constraint and an axial color constraint. Control shift G, let's make this an image space F number, which is used for infinite conjugates of F5. Control W, select F, D, and C with two or two, the second wavelength or D light as our, our default. Let's do this, let's make our focal length a D light, not the first one. We want a focal length of 100 and an axial color of zero, weight of one on each. Now this is perfectly balanced. We've got two constraints, focal length and axial color, and two variables, radius, uh, one radius of curvature on our crown and one radius of curvature on our flint. Control, shift, let's just double check this. So right now, it's showing all of our cont contribution is to the focal length. Of course, it's got no axial color because it's just playing parallel plates. Control Shift O, optimize, and it finds a solution. Let's look at let's see what this looks like. And of course, the lens looks odd because, well, it's got no thickness. Analysis miscellaneous chromatic focal shift. So here's our lens, and you can see Zmax can do it, but we've not over constrained it, we've not uh, under constrained it, we've right constrained it. I'm going to hit F3. And let's try putting some thickness in, 4, 1, and 2. Control, and just to, uh, we'll, we'll send it back. Oops. And it does not find a solution. So with thickness here, ZMAX, for whatever reason, is not finding a solution. Let's uh, remove these. Let's just put these back. Control, Shift, O. Let's take it back to our solution. And now I'm going to baby step it. I'm going to add thickness. So we're back to our solution, our zero thickness lens solution, which you can't make. I'm going to baby step this. I'm going to add an air thickness of one. Control Shift O. We've got a, a good solution. So now we have an air thickness between our lenses. Let's add thickness to the flint, two millimeters. Control Shift O. Found a solution again. Let's add Let's add thickness to the crown, control shift O, and it's finding a solution. Here's a case where we're right constrained. Why didn't it work on the prior video? And I did this on purpose. I included BFL, the back focal length as a variable, this thickness on this air thickness on surface four, and I included a default merit function. When you include the default merit function, you're including, you're saying, well, I want to use BFL to minimize spherical aberration. And in that case, focus does not, focus can balance spherical, it can't correct for it. This is really an advanced topic. I've not even covered spherical aberration, but I'm going, I'm describing this because when you're doing this in ZMAX, you gotta make sure you're rightly constrained. Now one could argue, well, you would get there much easier if you had more variables. So let's start completely over again. And we've got, now we've got plain parallel plate. And I'm going to give all these guys variables. 
let's see what happens and it's still not getting there so it's still it's still struggling to get there from a plane parallel plate uh, well you could argue let's take thickness out let's see what that does I'm just messing around now having fun and again it's not it's not finding it 